Hello, welcome to Back Away From The Dawn here, Back Books. And this is Vlogmas Day 8, which I'm actually editing a bit late. Uh, as the whole point of this Vlogmas thing is not just to have book content, because there's probably a lot of the Vlogmas videos aren't actually going to be books. It's just some general stuff, and it's also for me to experiment, and experiment with some editing and some randoms, and just turning over videos quickly. And so t today, or yesterday, we went out for lunch, me and my wife, for a nice little lunch. And we took our little um, Yorkie with us, um, Gizmo, our little um, Pomeranian girl. She stayed at home with some friends who were here doing some work for us. So we went into town. Yes, yeah, so the first place we dropped in, we dropped in our pharmacy. And our pharmacy has a cat, the way we live. Nice little black and white cat. And I cannot remember his name to help me. Jake's the one that's in the other shop. Uh, but as I said, it's a place for me to experiment, and this little animation here, that little camera there, took me so long to do, I cannot um, explain. But if I want to use it, that sort of thing, on uh, later videos of my proper book videos, I'm going to have to get a damn sight quicker. Uh, but basically, that's to show that I'm still recording this on my dodgy 15 plus year old um, Nikon uh, point and shoot, because I'm quite liking the, uh, the setting of the dodgy vlogging thing. Yes, I would never use this for um, my normal videos, but it's just, if you want to do something different and uh, introduce a little texture, give somebody a bit of interest, I thought, ah, it's worth playing with. It's just an animal charity shop. Yeah. As you can see, it's a bit of a treak day yeah. going on there. What this picture doesn't show you yeah. is it's actually a lot darker than it seems. Yeah. Uh, this time of year, we've lived up here for 18 years. And it still sometimes amazes me how dark we are in the winter. Uh, like nine o'clock in the morning, this morning just felt like it was the middle of the night. And as the sun sets around about just after three at the moment, so if you've got a dark day and sunset is noon, it is very dark. But we make up for it in the summer when it can be light till 11 o'clock and the sun never really properly sets. And that's a lovely cathedral. So we're just putting along. And I said the little place we're going to go and eat is just along the road a bit. Now, let's just leave now nice shop window. This is weird, this um, narration yeah. business. And here we are in the cafe and this little gizmo settling down. He was very interested. It's the first time he's been in here, so there he is in his little Santa suit for you all. Yeah. That's my coffee that came and another view of my coffee. And just the shop in the background. Uh, and as I was saying, a lot of this vlogmas stuff is just for me to experiment. Uh, I'm always going to have videos that are basically unedited, but there's a few ones that I do on more deeper dives that I quite like to do a bit of editing because I just quite enjoy it. Uh, so I'm just trying to experiment with some things with some software and playing around with it. Bits. and I said the animation I did earlier took me so long to do um, if I'm going to include that I've got to get work out how to do it because I'm not spending that time faffing around I'm not going to spend that long playing around with that just for that little effect as much as it was quite nice but who knows there's a little gizmo on the floor again checking everybody out it's very weird when you're taking with this old camera you do not feel as self-conscious as when you're doing your phone. Everybody sees you with your phone out taking video. And I said I love my iPhone because I think the quality of the video is gorgeous. But there's a weird, weird feeling about doing it with this old camera. And you feel less obvious in some weird way. It's like, but it's very strange that if I'm going around, I've got DSLR. If I go around with that and take photos, I feel very obvious then as well. I said, this little compact camera, I said, I want to try some other ones. I said, I've only got this one, but if anybody gives up one, or oh, right, if anybody out there's got one and they want to send me one, I'm quite interested in playing with them. I said, I do quite like the aesthetic. I've been taking some still images, as you might have seen on some other videos with them, and they give this almost retro-ish look to them. I didn't really take any photos yesterday when we were out. I said, because it was that lady there, she gave Gizmo lots and lots of attention. I said there will be a little bit of book content at the end. I said we're just waiting for our lunch to arrive. 
this is a nice shop that's also got a little cafe at the back. This was just a good spot that fit my wife's wheelchair in very well. Ah, you're going to boop the nose. And that's my lunch, which was a huge jacket potato. And Rosie had a sandwich. We actually ended up splitting, but we all had a bit of the sandwich as well. The sandwich was very nice. It was a crowd and stuff in it. It was a very pleasant little lunch. So, one of our main streets with the lights. There's some grumbling at the back while I'm talking this over. I guess I was wondering what is going on. And that's a polar bear. When did polar bears come? What the thing about Christmas? That little sculpture there. If you want to buy it, £850. Down there. Uh, 850, which does not surprise me. The thing I've discovered since having a little dog, so I said we now got two little dogs, and as you know, they'll be sadly lost off my, my Labrador a couple of months ago. But what I've discovered is they get the cold very, very quickly. They really do feel the cold. So little Gizmo there, he was walking along, and we were getting slower and slower. And he's normally really good, you know. Trundles along and he really enjoyed so wet. You can see him with his little raincoat on. But we picked him up and he was absolutely freezing and he started to shake. And so we put him on uh, Rosie's lap and we had a little bit of a feast and we wrapped him up there. And he said he was really, really, just don't think he was particularly well. He was feeling a little a bit peely wally and he was just yeah, not feeling good. So we wrapped him up in a um, little fleece. And he travelled home on top of the wheelchair. It's not a thing we normally do because we like he likes to trundle along properly. But it was really quite strange. See there he is all wrapped up. But yeah, he wasn't good. He's a good little man. There we go. So we're just hitting the library now. I pick up a book I ordered. Uh, if you know I was trying to do I was planning on doing a study on Philip K. Dick books and the film adaptations in comparison to the books. I was meant to be doing that this year but I am doing it next year now and I've been doing some research and I'm hoping to start recording over Christmas the first one which is obviously going to be on Blade Runner and do androids and I saw they had this book in the library which I've never read and that's Gizmo again in the background because I'm over there. But on the way out free books so it counts under read what you own and it was another Douglas Riemann one which if you noticed a few months ago I picked some up and he's a writer about naval warfare uh, historical fiction and I found out another one, this one was in hardback I'll show you some photos at the end of that one and the ones I've picked up before Anyway, thanks for watching this really rambly blog, vlog and I hope you see the stuff and have enjoyed this as a bit of a weird one and we'll get back to the normal uh, normal vlogmas stuff tomorrow or today because i've got to record another one today to catch up and we're going to do some more proper book content and i've got some readings coming up but this said this whole thing was just a bit of an experiment of a random vloggy type thing anyway i will speak to you all very soon and uh take care bye bye